live from Sovereign Bank Arena. It's Trenton Titans hockey today on CNA. And the Titans try to make it five in a row this season today against the Greensboro Generals. Hello again, everybody. I'm Mick Mottinghoff, and thanks for joining us for Titans Hockey today on CN8 as we get a chance to see the number one team, the Titans, in the ECHL. Truly amazing when you consider the fact that six players have already been called up to go on to the next level. Yeah, you could call them the Teflon Titans. You can't stick a loss on them. And take a look who's gone. Mike Hall, Kale McLean, Stu Botker, and Benoit Moran. They have accounted for 30 of the Titans' 67 goals this season, but the Titans doing it on defense with Scott Sterling in the Nets. He leads the league in save percentage and in shutouts. Today, as always, I'm joined once again by Pete Caggiano. And Pete, although the big scoring guns have gone, defense has been the key. Well, you know what they say in baseball, Mick. You can never have enough pitching. Well, in hockey, you can never have enough goaltending. And right now, Scott Sterling is the ace of this staff. Since Regan was called up to the Phantoms last month, Scott has been nothing short of brilliant. He's been 6-0 in his last six starts. He's been the key ingredient in a team that has allowed only 37 goals in 22 games. Now, although the Titans do not have a player in the top 20 scoring, they do have the best goaltender in the league. Sterling leads the league in both goals against average and save percentage. With his back-to-back -back shutouts last Friday and Saturday, Sterling was named the ECHL Goaltender of the Week. Now, this is a kid who last year, while playing for Brown University, was named the team MVP despite having a losing record. Yeah, he has been doing it all. Speaking of a guy who does it all, the third member of our team is downstairs right now, and that's Ken Adelberger. Nick, I've got my roster for today's game right here, and I think I'm going to give it to the uh, assistant coach, Mike Havlin, because you might need that more than us. Seven guys out, all kinds of call-ups. The revolving door has definitely hit you guys hard. Curious, with seven games in nine days and no practice time, how do you guys prepare game after game? Well, we, we just bring the guys in early, you know, uh, do a lot of video work with them, a lot of individual work with the new guys. And, you know, and hopefully the veterans, you know, in the locker room can, you know, help out and help out their line mates. Uh, and the new guys are here. Just, you know, keep teaching them every day and every chance that we have. You know, obviously with the, the, the swing down south, you know, we'll have some time on the bus. And, and you know, uh, Coach Ward and myself will be able to sit individually with guys and, and go over film and, and, you know, also just drawing out systems. Really hit hard for this afternoon's game. Let's go back upstairs, Mick. All right, thanks very much, Ken. And maybe when Coach Havlin's done with a roster, he can bring it up here. I think I'm going to need it, too. The Titans take on Greensboro. Just around the corner of the opening faceoff coming up, so stay with us right here on CNA. <laughs> 